Welcome everybody. We're back in action. Today is April 23rd, 2023. And it's gonna be the first video of the weekly Super Tunia updates for the window boxes here. And as you can see, there's gonna be some new colors. Some, some are the same, some are different. And that is that these window boxes along with all the other ones on the railing as well, now only have three colors in them. Last year, you were looking at all bubble gum in this one. Now it's a mixture of bubble gum, blue skies, and black cherry. Now, the bubble gum are the only ones this year that are vistas. So they're supposed to be the most profusely flowering and growing the blue sky and the black cherry are just regular super tunias. Although, even though they're not vistas, regular super tunias still grow profusely. Just not as much as the bubble gums here. Um, yesterday, we actually had a huge rainstorm, so things are a little shabby. As you can see, some of these flowers got damaged from the rain. But no worry, it's only week one, right? You might remember from last year, these, these plants grow so much that they'll get down to about right right here, right? All the way from up there. You have to start trimming these hedges back because they'll start touching the hedges. And then you gotta cut them back to here by, you know, right after 4th of July. And by the end of August, they're back touching the hedges again. They just don't stop. You can tell, some of you may have caught or seen in the other video I posted. We now have drip irrigation, which I'm gonna run a separate video on how that entire system work. And another thing that has changed is I've used some different soil this year. It's an organic soil. Other than that, if you think about it, other than the drip system and the soil type, everything else I'm gonna be doing is the exact same the way I treat them. Obviously the drip system changes the way you water them and the soil type just changes the nutrients in the soil. But other than that, Everything's the same. What I've noticed, now I'll come up here to the railing, is that the blue skies are, are actually pretty, they grow almost as fast as the bubble gum. As you can see, the bubble gum here is already stealing the show. But if you saw the blue skies, they leg out a lot compared to the black cherry, which all of them are really small. In fact, the best looking black cherries are over here. As you can see there, they probably look the best in this box, but it gives you an idea. They're just gonna be a cluster of colors. So it follows the same thing. I pretty much decided that no two colors will be next to each other. So you'll see that there's a bubble gum, a black cherry, a blue skies, and a bubble gum, a blue skies, a black cherry. and I. I just kind of mixed it up and I made sure that no two colors followed. And come up here, you can see from behind. This was always up here was easy when hand watering because you can get right behind them. This year, you can see these little drip emitters in there doing a half gallon per hour. And they kind of go right in the center of each plant. I had to do some adjusting but it should be exciting to see how much easier it is to water them. Then we'll go down here and see the other two window boxes. You gotta remember last year, that was Jazzberry last year. That was the Super Tunia Vista Jazzberry. This was the Fuchsia, Vista Fuchsia, which I remember they had a tough time growing. And back over here, you can see black cherry, bubblegum, blue skies. Last year, that was the Vista Paradise. And right over here, you can see bubblegum, blue skies, black cherry. And last year, this was the Silverberry box. Again, you can see the line running. I had to take some of the slack out, so I'll pull it. And then I'll eventually paint the line the same color as the house. So that's it uh, for this one. It's just a quick update because again, not too much growth. I've barely seen any new growth 
since I planted them last weekend. But if you watch the videos from last year, you know exactly what's gonna happen. I have not started fertilizing yet. That's important that I share that. Uh, they've only been in the ground for a week. There hasn't been a lot of sunlight yet. Look, doesn't look like there's gonna be any more frost. If I thought there was gonna be more frost, I probably wouldn't have planted them. I actually planted them on the same exact day as last year, so it was April 15th. And maybe next week, or I might wait until the first week of May to start fertilizing. Only thing I'm gonna do between now and then is I'm gonna add more soil to the boxes because as you water, the soil starts to compress down and you'll have some, you don't wanna have any bare roots exposed to the air. So anyway, that's it for this video. And as you know, as, as they get much bigger, I can do some videos from down there like last year as well. So uh, that'll be it for this one. I'm excited for this year. I hope you are too. See you next week.